Rodders, and I'm the comedy equivalent of a rail replacement bus. <laughs> People are rarely pleased to see me, and my jokes can take an awful long time to get anywhere. But in a rather minimal way, I am your salvation. <laughs> Lovely room. There is a mirror behind one of these curtains that they use that in case they don't fill it full of you lovely people. If they only get half in, they can open the curtain and that can double the room. Mirrors are very handy like that. Um, I'm going to tell you about the uh, weirdest job I've ever done. I used to read travel news on a, on a radio station in Basingstoke. Has anybody um, heard of Basingstoke? Oh, wow, three of you and one person humoured me, thank you. Um, but yeah, I used to read travel news in Basingstoke. Sorry, what was that at the back? You want me to do a travel bulletin? I mean, I wouldn't normally, but it seems they are so nicely, it'd be rude to decline. <laughs> Let's take a look at the roads around Basingstoke. A33 towards the Blackdown roundabout. Queues about 10 minutes is looking quite congested. Swing Swang Lane now moving much better now that earlier broken down lorry has now been removed, flowing freely in both directions. Vauxhall Road roundabout looking a little bit congested this afternoon. Queues of about 10 minutes. And if you're approaching the Festival Place shopping centre, looking pretty sluggish as well, I'm afraid. And on Junction 3, there are narrow lanes and speed restrictions of 50 miles an hour. That's due to those long term roadworks. And that's the latest. If you spotted something I've missed, give me a call please on 0332 400 380. Yeah, really is that entertaining. It's, it's, it's lovely to be in a room of people who love roads. Yeah. Am I the Yorkshire Ripper? <laughs> I'm going to talk about politics now. <laughs> uh, when, it, when it comes to politics, I, I really don't care. Don't care. In fact, I'm apathetic to a very large degree. I class myself as militantly apathetic. Um, they are great fun on a march. What do we want? Nothing, but we're still bloody annoyed about it. <laughs> I mean, I got into a political discussion with one of my friends, and I just kept saying to her, look, can we just change the subject? I don't care. I really don't care. I don't care. Just change the subject. To which she replied, then why are you shouting and crying? <laughs> I mean, it isn't true that I don't care, it's not. I mean, that's obviously just a defence mechanism. In a weird sort of understated way, I'm actually quite an emotional person. I get very upset quite easily, so I have to ration what I get upset about, because I don't have time to be upset all the time. I've got things to do. I don't want to be in that farcical situation when someone says, Oi, Rodders, why didn't you fill in that really important form? Because I can't tell them the truth. I can't say... Well, a great sadness came down upon me, and my whole life just felt pointless and empty, and everything is just too much. Although apparently it's perfectly natural to feel that way when filling in a tax return. <laughs> Am I Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> the founder of the Yahoo search engine. Um... My mum, unfortunately, suffers from a really terrible malady, something uh, that I don't think there's a cure. She has a sympathetic face. Not something I suffer from. Uh, everything in my face, is, the cheekbones are too high, it's too angular, it's not a face that you'd, you'd, you'd say things to, because uh, it looks like the hull of a ship. I mean, you're never going to go up to the hull of a ship and say, Oh, I've had my heart broken! Oh, oh. <laughs> They're not very sympathetic, are they? But yeah, my mum suffers from having a sympathetic face. The plumber will come round. Three hours later, she knows all about his divorce. But is the boiler fixed? Bollocks, is it? <laughs> Am I Genghis Khan? <laughs> Oh, you are still all here. Some nights I lift the flap and they've all vanished. And I fear I've become a magician. Um, one of the best things about going to, doing comedy is that it gives me a lovely excuse to chat to people and go to pubs. But one thing winds me up, there's uh, often posters up for their musical open mic nights. Uh, you sir, how do you spell mic as in the abbreviation for microphone? M-I-C, absolutely correct! Ten points to this gentleman! <laughs> Mean. I'm sorry, these guys were right. Absolutely nothing in the current economy. But thank you for playing. Yes, this is a common, but a common mistake pubs make. They don't spell it M I C. They spell it M I K E. I mean, it's not a microphone, is it? I mean, were it a microphone, the 
the term open mic night would have a very, very different <laughs> connotation. <laughs> so that's what's keeping me up tonight, Angel. The spelling thing, not Mike. But I'm sure he's lovely. Though, like many of my friends, utterly fictional. <laughs> would anyone like to see an impression? Yeah. Glad you said yes. Okay. Konnichiwa! I am Theresa May. I am very glad at sunglasses. Sunglasses, my main talent. This is Theresa May House. Sunglasses, very good. Theresa May, good at sunglasses. Okay, note to self. Next time I attempt satire, I promise to watch the news once. <laughs> Um, right, uh, I think I'll... I'll end on something a little more personal. So you're a nice bunch. Let's start to use your oven. Number one, plug it in. Plug it into a 13 amp fused electrical socket. You'll be reminded to read your operating instructions. Step number two, set the clock. Set it to 24 hour clock using the time pad to press the clock pad again. See page 23. <laughs> Select the power, for example, 1000 watts. Is that my time? Oh, I was just getting to the good part. <laughs> Love you brothers, thank you.